Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. Alright, so let's go ahead and tune you Aries. And today I'll be reading from the deck of the Sun and Moon Tarot. The Soul Coaching Oracle, as well as the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. All right, so I've already pre-shuffled the deck, and let's get started. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Universe, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the first card um, that I'm showing here is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands to me really shows a lot of heartbreak. Uh, it shows a lot of fighting in the past, maybe a situation where um, maybe you were fighting with yourself. Maybe you really wanted to start doing things that were in a different, well, light. Uh, maybe in the past you had to be a little bit more harsh. You had to fight a little bit more, you know, because that's what energy is showing up here with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just like um, kind of understanding the pain of the past. Um, so real insight here because of the Ace of Cups comes in, you know, and this is new love. This is new love for yourself. You know, I think this is you defining yourself because of the pain from the past and because you are in a more solid foundation and you do want more. You do. And so the Ace of Cups comes in and is like, I'm going to love myself first. I'm going to put me first. I'm going to do more for myself. Because I do everything for everyone else. All right. So the Queen of Wands is the next card. And this is taking ownership. This is taking power. And so when we sit in that energy after we've been through some things, it's kind of like this unstoppable energy. You know, it's this new direction. It's this new definition of who you see yourself to be. And so, you know, this is a really strong reading in the sense that you've got that queen of wands, you know, moving into that energy, moving into the strength of yourself, understanding yourself more. And then looky here, the high priestess. Yeah, the high priestess. That is solid energy. That is you like really being in your power, in your truth, in your authenticity, in your higher self. Okay. We've got stability here with this high priestess, this strong individual. Okay. So, you know, in the past there were failures. You know, you have to fail to succeed. Seven of Pentacles. You've got to fail to succeed. Sometimes you just got to learn. And even though some of those lessons are harsh, they're meant to be learned for the next step of your life. So that you can move into a more positive direction with the universe card, everything going in your favor. Every door that you want open is opening Every, you know, person with, I don't know, coming up with your own version of love for your future partner, possibly. With the universe cards, really seeing that you can be in more balanced situations. 
And you know, there's this completion from the past is not really getting caught up in anything anymore. Just being done with the energy of the past. Lots of fighting, lots of learning. We're good. We learned, we got back up. You know, the Phoenix was rising with this one, you know, four of wands done. We are completing one cycle and starting anew. Okay. And you know, when we have cards like the seven of, of swords come up, it's like, I think this can be one of the most funniest cards because this is inflicting pain upon yourself. Why is that? Well, if you look closely in the picture, all the swords are facing upward. So it's it's us bringing on this pain. It's us really not wanting to sit in the pain, but every now and then just getting that little burn just for the heck of it, right? Which is awful, but we do it. So we have to see past that, you know, because I'm going to put these cards up. The Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, look at these cards here. Empowering, sitting in your truth. And looky here, the Gain card, Nine of Pentacles. Look at this Aries amazing right lots of positive lots of prosperity lots of strength lots of being grounded i don't know pretty solid right now aries pretty solid king of wands looky here charging forward in your truth two of pentacles change well looky here Eight of Cups, Prince of Cups. Okay, so here we go again. King of Wands right here, and then we have Change, Two of Pentacles. I mean, there's movement. You're, you're improving yourself. You are really, well, it's like, going to school and learning something and mastering it, just really mastering your emotions. You know, we've got the eight of cups, like looking in the past a little bit and kind of using that emotion as a tool, not as, you know, another way to fall back in a depression, really using the past as a tool. And you know, and I think turning things around, Prince of Cups, seeing prosperity, seeing abundance, seeing things change, observing, not overreacting, just being solid, grounded. That's the energy I see for you, Aries. You know, I think... Sometimes in readings when it's, it starts to get a little deep about that particular person. You know, we can feel that energy. We can feel that truth. We know that there was some depth to that person that really needed healing. Because... Some things are painful. Sometimes life's painful. Three of Pentacles. Emperor card. Ace of Swords. Princess of Cups. Eight of Wands. Justice. Tower. Queen of Pentacles. So really working on yourself here, Aries. Really putting the pieces together. Understanding the past, understanding the present, and then being solid in your truth with the emperor. Really being solid, knowing that 
you've mastered a few lessons in your life that you've had some fiery times and those maybe those fiery times didn't really pan out the way you would like them to because maybe there was a little ego and you had to lose the ego a little. So, and also having some insight about it, Ace of Swords. Yeah, so really seeing deeper, seeing some depth within. You know, and this is also possibility, Ace of Swords. So, you know, and then the Princess of Cups is really this offering to yourself. You know, offering, I say, restitution from the past. You know, really, what happened, happened. Sometimes we got to let that stuff go. See the possibility of things. Eight of Wands. And sometimes we don't like to waste our own time at it. You know, we don't like to waste time. We want to get the job done. We're done suffering. And so we create that justice within ourselves where there is a correction of karma. We got the justice card here. You know, I think when we gain awareness into different situations and really put this mental perspective, you know, on them, we really start to see the situation more clearly and it doesn't really hurt as bad to separate, you know, so we got the tower card, you know, really pulling away, really, you know, awareness, recognizing letting something fall away, burn away from us, and, and knowing that maybe it's ego. You know, surrendering. All right, so we've got the Queen of Pentacles. And you know, this is just reflection. You know, to me, this is reflecting on the past. This is thinking about things. This is really, you know, being present. I, I think sometimes Aries are such go-getters that they have a hard time being present. And even though they're great listeners sometimes, um, they still have a hard time being present with themselves. You know, you guys are one of the other signs. It's kind of critical on yourselves. So Aries, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and do or pull some cards for the Soul Coaching Oracle. I'm going to pull a couple of those and then a few of the Psychic Tarot for the heart. So we have Light, Compassion, and Miracles. All right. You know, I feel for you, Aries. I feel like you've been through a lot. You've just been through a lot, and you know, my heart feels like, oh, I just want to give you an energetic hug right now. Confront. Dedicated effort. And darkest fears. So, you know, I, I think that sometimes when we come to a place where we can't go any lower, you know, we've hit rock bottom. We feel really down in despair and, and we can't see past the pain or the fear of things. We gotta be that light for other people. You know, we've gotta pull that peace within ourselves and, and pull it out and and start to light the way for others. You know, we just do. And We've got to see that we have a light, too, within us. So, you know, I, I feel like this is a very tender, very, you know, compassionate reading. But also for you to feel compassion towards yourself. 
you know, in my heart, I feel this heaviness of just, oh, poor, not poor, but I I'm saying, I just want to hug you, Aries. Just want to hug you. I want some compassion to be in there for you. Miracles are starting to happen. It's got to be positive, optimistic. The good is coming. You know, sometimes there's things around the corner that we're sitting there the whole time. It just had to brew a little bit and we had to get around the corner to see it. You know? Miracles, you got to believe. You got to believe. All right. So, confronting fears, you know, confronting the past. Where were you at that point? Are you repeating past behaviors? Maybe repeating, you know, patterns of partners? Being with the same type of individual that's not in alignment with you. Really confronting those feelings. Confronting those ideals. Confronting yourself. Knowing that that's not in your best interest. You know, and it's really staying out of the fear. Because right now, there's there's a dark point here. You know, and, and fear is just false evidence appearing real. Sometimes that darkest fear is super real to us, though. And we can't shake it. And we really have to exercise a lot of love and compassion towards ourselves in order for those things to be recognized in order to be able to heal them. And, you know, it takes dedication, it does, effort towards ourselves, towards our truth, you know. Big hugs to you, Aries. I hope you like this reading. And, you know, as always, if you have any questions about my readings, um, please feel free to contact me or if you'd like to book a reading. All my information is in the description box below. If you would like to donate, my information is in the description box below as well. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you're hitting that notification button so when my new videos come out, you'll be notified of them. And as always, you know, take care of yourself, Aries. I really feel for you. I mean, this is one of those situations that, you know, lesson well learned. Let's not beat ourselves up over it. Let's let go. Let's surrender. Let's await. There's great things coming and I want you to feel that energy because you deserve to you've been through a lot Aries love you so much namaste